watch an independent day. But if Tom Cruise was gay, <laughs> wondering if we'd all get AIDS. Those no, were the days. <laughs> we knew what was important. <laughs> the intern and the congressman. Mr. So we could do some news about didn't need to fear the mail Like we was in Israel If we bombed wrong, what the hell Those were the days Get out of my chair Now look here, little girl. Our Commander-in-Chief George Washington Bush Jr. II there has asked every American to fly the flag. And that includes my daughter and any meathead she might be married to. Where is my Gloria? Probably stopped at Pollock Burger for an appetizer. Eh? Very funny, Daddy. Mike's at a rally, Ma. He said to start without him. Whoa, 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 hold on there just a second. He said what? He, he's at a peace rally put on by the group We Unable to Support Slaughter. You know, wuss. You know. <laughs> ah, a bunch of pinko puss necks undermining the war effort there. Daddy, it's a grassroots coalition of peace activists. It's a grassroots smoking bunch of terrorists love it. You know what I think about stopping the war? <laughs> That's what I think. We didn't start this little girl. But Daddy, who is this war against? There were more Saudi Arabians on those planes than Afghanis. Why aren't we bombing Saudi Arabia? Because for your information there, little girl, your Saudi Arabians are the only ones keeping Israel in its place. <laughs> taking over the whole world there. You know, if we bombed the Arabs, the Jews would move right in there and take over our oil. Anytime a Jew takes over a business there, you know, hold on to your wallet and marry. <laughs> now, luckily, these camel jockeys here, you know, think they're rich if they can buy a goat and a falafel girl who ain't wearing a bag over her head. Daddy! So we gotta stay on the good side, see? <laughs> they keep Israel in its place. Which is right in the middle of somebody else's place. Which is right in the middle of someone else's place. <laughs> That's why we give them two billion a year in guns and gas masks. See, they keep all them muskrat countries over there in line, see, so we don't have to. Sounds like we're paying protection money, Daddy. Well, it's money well spent there, little girl. I mean, with, with so many Jews in New York and in Florida and in show business and all, America has to pretend to like the Israels, you know? They, they donate uh, big, big donations to those kite politicians there. And those kite politicians funnel the money straight to Mr. Sharon. Daddy, that still doesn't explain to me why we had to bomb Afghanistan back to the Stone Age. Well, that's easy, little girl. The Stone Age is a step forward for them people. <laughs> and we're just doing them a favor, you know, a little redecorating in the cave. Oh, I heard that Laura Ashley done some very nice interior decorating. Maybe some floral prints would brighten those caves up a little. Didn't I tell you to stifle their ears? <laughs> and why are you defending them people anyway? You know what those El Coyote guys would do to you if you dressed like that in Afghani land? And you should close your legs for you. I'm trying, Ma. You. I'm trying. Oh, Daddy. Hey, if I had to trust him, Dan Blathers or Peter Lemons or, uh, uh, what's the other guy's name there? Uh, Tom Broke Down? Yeah. Yeah, that guy gives me a pain just watching him try to read. Uh. <laughs> now, if I had to trust those talking heads there, you know, uh, uh, you'd think we was losing this war. Dark radio is what holds this country together. Oh, right, Daddy. Where else would we have found out that Osama bin Laden is working for Hillary Clinton? That's right. Her and her husband are uh, practically what you call uh, tallywhackers. Oh. 
Ta Taliban, Daddy. Democrat by any other name. Now, Archie, the Clintons is lovely people and good Americans. You voted for her, didn't you, dear? Oh, my, I, I think I, my pie is burning. Uh, you didn't say he was making pie there, Edie. Oh, sure, Archie, I baked it for the fire department. If you're hungry, there's some jello left over from Thanksgiving in the fridge you could have. But don't ruin your supper! <laughs> it's pie for the firemen. There's jello in the fridge for you, Archie. Why don't you bring me a beer to wash it down with there, Rita? Right away, Archie! Give me that. <laughs> oh, and what are you looking at? Daddy. You know... Uh, uh, You know, I still cannot believe that you support wiping out an entire nation. That's what they want to do to us, little girl. Or perhaps you slept through September 11th there. You know, see, that was the worst thing to happen since WW2. And on that terrible day, that will live in infamy. Hiroshima? Don't do this ah. with me. You know what I mean. Pearl Harbor, December 7th. Now, that day we come together as a country. Now, we knew it had to be done and we was ready to do it there. Yeah, everybody understood why we had to give up our uh, civil luxuries there, yeah, right? <laughs> and we all knew that, that the price of freedom, freedom, if we truly wanted to stay free there, yeah, we would just shut up and, and do what we was told. See? Like the great American Paul Harvey once said there. Yeah. Take my liberty and give me death. Yeah. Daddy. I think you're talking about Patrick Henry. And he also said patriotism is the last refuge of a scoundrel. Ah, what the hell does he know? Never trust a man with two first names. Here's your beer, Archie. Look, I put it in a glass phase and everything. Oh, look, the Jeffersons is on my favorite show. Oh, jeez, give these people this show to the kind of crap all they expect us to watch, yeah. Hey, give me the remote, yeah, yeah, sir. Let's see what's on the news. Maybe, maybe you won the war there, we get this. Oh, would you look at this? They're burning a flag there in ecstasy. Must be one of them Aristibian nations. That one Aristibian looks a lot like Mike. Yeah, what do you know? A Polak terrorist. He probably tried to blow up a car and burned his lips on the tailpipe. <laughs> Ma! Ma! That's the George Wright rally that Mike went to, Ma! Oh my, that is Mike. What are they doing to him, Ma? Well, it looks like they're arresting him. Oh my God, what do I do? What do you do? Well, I'll tell you what you do. You're leaving the right there in prison with this bunch of anti-American big mouths who's got nothing better to do than sit around and sing Stevie Cook songs all day. <laughs> well, there's real heroes over there in real danger preserving your right to, to, to sing songs like that there, see? I'm proud of Michael, Ma. But I think we should probably still go bail him out of jail, Gloria. I'll get my coat. Oh, you're not going anywhere, Jerry. What about my dinner? Your dinner is in the oven, Archie. Gloria needs me right now, and I'm going with her. Come on, Gloria. <laughs> Let's see what's on TV. Kabul is a city on edge. An explosive mix of two million people, mostly refugees, hundreds of thousands of weapons, and no government. The real question we got to face up to is, there's a long winter ahead of us. There's millions of starving Afghans. Where three Israeli civilians are dead tonight after the latest attack by a suicide bomber. That explosion tore through a bus near the town of Hadera in northern Israel. And the, and the FBI is still trying to pinpoint the source of the anthrax bacteria that... Attorney General John Ashcroft is calling for a heightened security, and across the country, people are listening. Tonight, we have three reports on the unprecedented levels of homeland security. Ah, peace at last. 